So today the attention is on Westminster and the leadership contest which has just seen Boris Johnson elected as new leader of the Conservative Party and tomorrow becomes Prime Minister. But I'm trying to create news for something happening in another part of the world, in a remote part of the world, in Tibet. So today in Parliament I have just presented what's called a 10 minute rule bill in my capacity as Chairman of the All Party Parliamentary Group on Tibet and someone who has campaigned over years against the human rights abuses that are routinely waged on Tibetan citizens inside China and indeed on Tibetan nationals around the world. Now just last November the US Congress passed what's called the Reciprocal Access to Tibet Act. This was passed with cross-party support and even supported by President Donald Trump and effectively it's saying to the Chinese that if you do not allow people into uh, Tibet politicians, diplomats and others who want to go and talk to Tibetan people, like our own ambassador who's not been able to go to the Tibetan region since 2017, then foreign nationals should be free to travel in Tibet just as Chinese nationals are free to travel anywhere in the UK, the States or elsewhere uh, in, uh, in Europe. We need people to be able to go and expose some of the horrendous human rights abuses uh, in Tibet that's seen over a million Tibetans lose their lives since the cruel invasion by China back in 1959. Over 150 Tibetans have set fire to themselves in protest at the persecution going on in Tibet and also the huge environmental damage that is being waged on the Tibetan uh, plateau which is becoming a dumping ground for toxic waste where unsustainable mining and building of dams is affecting that sensitive uh, ecosystem up there which the 40 percent of the world's population is served from water sources that rise in the Tibetan plateau. So my bill would emulate in the UK what the US has done to say to China you need to open up, we need to expose these human rights abuses, you need to treat Tibetans fairly around the world and within China itself and if you don't don't expect the people responsible for that to be able to come to the uh, UK. It may seem like a remote issue, but it's an important principle for human rights of minorities throughout the world and the Tibetans have suffered for far too long and the rest of the world needs to call out China for its continued persecution of a peace-loving people of Tibet.